<laughs> I hope everyone's had a fabulous day. Hello! Uh, it's been a really interesting day, obviously. This is New Horizons, of course. This is the space probe which just flew by. Pluto sent its all nominal. It nominaled the heck out of mission control. It science the heck out of the Pluto system. And yeah, I have of course got this and it's flying by Kerbin and then it's off to infinity and beyond. Okay, well not quite right, but wow that does look kind of weird. I'm not sure what's going on there. <laughs> Yeah, NASA, NASA rocks and all that. Anyway, I, uh, well, I'm, I was kind of thinking that I wanted to actually start a mission to go after this and recover it and bring it home, but then I kind of did some calculations and the, <laughs> the tyranny of the rocket equation really kills you. So I, I figured that you need at least 20 kilometers per second if you're going to even begin to catch up on this thing and then once you're out there you need another 12 to bring it back and then you're going to need another 15 to circularize so you have a rocket you're going to have a great honking big rocket that is just unwieldy i, I might be able to do it with using nuclear engines um but yeah i'm still mucking around with realism mod i'm not sure i like some of these model replacements by the way I'm not sure for example what why why would you do this this is awful I'm sorry I, I mean I like realism mod people but good lord that is an ugly 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 model there um, yeah you can see some of the other spacecraft look it's Galileo 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 Dawn. Deep Space One. Deep Impact. Grab One. Whatever that is. Magellan. 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 Uh, Aqua. I'm a puppy girl. In oh, no wait. <laughs> Aura. These are these are cool models. I have to say. Oh, Messenger. Nice. Nice, a lot of cool stuff here, uh, but I'm not going to be using any of them because oh, what's this? Oh, near shoemaker! Yay, this one. Um, near shoemaker is cool because it was the first one to really get close with an asteroid and spend some time there. Uh, but not only did they orbit the asteroid in question, but they were like, "Well, our funding's going. Let's try landing this thing," and they soft landed this spacecraft on the asteroid. Uh, I should try that at some point. Um, let's just see what other ones we've got sitting around. These are all US probes from the pack. There's the New Horizons, Pioneer. So this is for people playing real scale solar system. You can try all these. Obviously Pioneer 10, which looks a lot like Voyager. Uh, Pioneer 5, which is surprisingly minuscule. I not really appreciated just how small this. Pioneer 6, 7, 8, and 9. I should try... Oh, that's a good idea. I could try launching all of the space probes on the same rocket. Oh, yes. Or we could actually cause them all to crash. Let's let's see if this is possible. That's a really good idea. So we've got this. Um, how are you going to get all these things? How, where are the attachment points? There's only one attachment point on that. I think to make this work... I haven't heard that the plan for Rosetta is to soft land it on 67p, but you know what? If Nier can do it, these guys can figure it out. Okay, so let's do a new, 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 new. Uh, don't save. So I'm going to use like a modular girder segment. And uh, I'm going to stretch this out. Because we're going to have a common core and then we're going to attach all the probes around it, right? So I guess the best plan is to have some sort of attachment. Oh, cubic octagonal strut to the rescue. To the rescue. La la la. We're gonna. Ah, da, 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 da. Okay, so aqua. Oh shoot, this is gonna be huge. Is that even gonna fit on the rocket if I try to attach it like this? Let's just try this. If I do. Come on. There. Oh, it's gonna want to symmetryize. I don't want a symmetry. 
don't want symmetry, I just want one. Okay, and then... Holy crap, can I... Oh, wow, this could be hard. Uh, this is the... The parts, the... What do you call it? I forget what it's called. It's, it's the US probes pack, and I forget who is responsible for it, but... Let's see if we can just... I'm just gonna cheat here, look. I guess I guess I should have decouplers, right? It's not from FASA, no. Okay, let's let's actually change this. I just realized I need decouplers, so that's not going to work. So let let's actually start with these ones down here. Two of them. Let's do four actually. So how is how is everything to everyone today? What? Are people? Did people see the science, the sciencing interview video today? I was quite happy to have a sciencing interview with someone that actually is a sciencey interview type person. Okay, and so now we're gonna grab this and rotate it, and then drag this outwards, and then maybe maybe this thing will connect to it. Nope. Connect. Okay, just the once, just the once. Okay, that's going to connect to there, and then of course I can displace this further, like this. Okay, so that's one spacecraft. Man, I don't think I'm going to be able to launch them all at once. But let's let's see how many I can get on this. What's my mass? It's pretty big, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and then this, move it this way, and this way, okay. That's a pretty good start, I say. Okay, now we need to get Dawn somewhere on there. So Dawn can sit on that, and unfortunately Dawn is going to be a little crowded by its peers here, so let's, let's try and make some more room for it. There you go. And you can move that way. Give Dawn some room! It's a cool space probe, it's doing some awesome stuff. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should put that. Well, maybe I should put all of them on top. I just don't know. I need, I gotta figure out where all of these things go. Deep impact. Deep impact. I suspect is using a similar bus. So, I'm gonna grab that. Let's see how we're doing here. Come on, offset this. There we go. Oh, darn it! Did that. And need it to be out this way more. There we go. Okay, so they're all kind of hanging on there. We can start building downwards now. I wonder how big a fairing I can fit on this thing. Good news is we have procedural fairings somewhere here. Actually, I'm just going to search by manufacturers. Procedural fairings. This is going to be the most efficient launch ever. We're basically going to have all the things being... All the things being launched and scienced together at the same time. There, look, you see, we can totally build this giant rocket like this, huh? It's totally gonna break. <laughs> How to break offsets for fun and profit. That's exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, so... Let's go back to structural parts. So we're gonna start building on more of these things. So, cubic octagonal strut, cubic octagonal strut, I'm a cubic octagonal strut. Cubic octagonal strut. I am a cubic octagonal strut. Cubic octagonal strut. A strut. A cubic octagonal strut. Now, this is Kerbal Space Program, the opera, if you hadn't figured it out. Okay, we'll try to do that. There we go. And there we go. Excellent. Okay. No. No, no, no. More decouplers. Decouplerific. Decouplerific. Okay, that's radial attachment point. Not originally a clampatron as a structural element. Cubic octagonal Scott, I am a cubic octagonal Scott. A cubic octagonal Scott, I am a cubic octagonal Scott. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just do this. One there. And one there. Okay. I just need to attach these things. I'm a strut, strut, Sutner. I I'm sorry you can't understand the accent. 
Well, I'm not sure what you're trying to say there, but it is definitely an illusion, which I am not... Oh look, we have the deep impact, deep impactor. I wonder if there's a place for me to attach this. Not on that side. That's Dawn. Oh wait, I need to find... Yeah, deep impact. Wait a second. Is there an impact point for this? There's no place for me to attach the deep impact impactor, is there? No, no. Well, never mind that. We'll just stick it on the side. Look, that, this one I don't even need to adjust. Okay, what else? We have Deep Space 1 or Explorer 6. We can stick Explorer 6 on the side here. Man, this thing is really starting to run slow. Okay. So, I can copy this. Move it up a bit. Nice. And we we'll take these off. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Come back here. Uh, right now, what we're trying to do is launch every single American space probe in the same launcher. Because we think that launching them one at a time was rather inefficient. Okay, so we've got a galaxy, uh, Galileo atmospheric probe. We'll stick that on the side. No. Oh. And we only need one of them, so that's a good point. Get on there. I think that's the plan. We're going to try and send them all into space and then let them all detach at the same time. That was a brilliant idea, whoever came up with that. Okay, Magellan is too big. Grab one. How big is this? Oh yeah, that's super, that's tiny, that's excellent. That'll just slip right in there. Awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're flying rockets. Okay, so we've got grab one. Uh, guidance unit, guidance unit. Messenger is big, so we need to deal with that. Near Shoemaker. Let's see what other small ones we have. New Horizons is actually going to be pretty small. Pioneer 3 and 4. Let's try that. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, but no symmetry. Turn off the symmetry. There we go. Pioneer 5. Oh, man. This is looking cool, huh? I have to say, this is a collection of absolutely classic spacecraft. And I hope this thing flies. Okay, next. So next I need to add another tier to this. Christmas tree. It's like a Christmas tree of space probes, isn't it? Take this one away. And then Pioneer 6, 7, 8, and 9. Oh wow, we're starting to get big again. Oh, again, single one. Oh my god, we get Terra and Stardust. Uh, Stardust Return. Oh, Stardust Return Capsule. That should be pretty small. I can stick that on the side there. Come on, attach. There, you want to attach to this, no? No, oh, it's okay, it's backwards. Come on. It doesn't, it wants to go that way and then it doesn't want to go that way and it gets all confused. Ah, you know, who cares if the Stardust Return Capsule explodes, then it'll just be like as accurate as the real thing, right? Okay. So now I think what I need to do is grab this, oh look at how slow this frame rate is getting. Anyone want to bet on this thing crashing? Let's call this uh, give this an appropriate name. Pod Mania. Oh, let's fix this. Uh, no, Probe Mania. Probe Mania. It's, it's near to Romania, but it's made of probes, obviously. Uh, okay, so we can throw away this. Throw away this. I'm so glad the Americans built so many small space probes, otherwise this would become really rather difficult. Yeah, I'm going to make sure the accelerometers are the correct way around. Uh-oh. 
Doggy is seeing something or hearing something or someone. What's up? Lucky is getting a little concerned. Probably somebody's looking in the trash for things. I only need one of these. I only need Z1. Yeah, Lucky gets upset when anybody walks by, basically. Vanguard... whatever. Vanguard 3. We haven't even got to the big ones. Voyager 1 and 2. The Ranger... oh, they've got a core... Oh, wow. Okay, let's put Vanguard on here. That's that. Vanguard 1. Oh. <laughs> this is just a little... <laughs> oh dear. Navigation said... Oh look, you know what? We've actually reached the point where we should start building uh, another tier for these big ones. So I could totally abuse the connection system again. How, how, what is the mass of this actually? What does the engineer say? Oh, it's only 12 tons! 12 tons?! I can totally build this thing. Um, the real question is, yeah, you're absolutely right. Will we hit the memory limit or something here? Okay, I don't need this. Da -da -da. Da -da 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 I mean, the thing is running really slowly here. Come on. There we go. So now I need a pair of decouplers. Where's my decouplers? Oh, man. It's all just aluminium. It's not, there's no such thing as aluminium unless you live in that weird place that doesn't know how to pronounce, en pronounce English words. Uh, you can tell from my pronouncing that I, I know how to pronounce English words correctly, obviously. Not everyone knows how to pronounce in English. And uh, I, I happen to be quite good at pronouncing. What am I going to do when I get- I'm going to let them all fly! I'm going to set them free! You can be free! To do what you want to do! You can get loaded! You can have a good time! I'm going to have a party! That's right. We get the Animal House quotes here. Although, to be fair, I picked that up from Primal Scream because I am British and we love Primal Scream. They are an awesome band. They're also Scottish as well, but primarily they are an awesome band. What GPU do I have? One, uh, I've, yeah, I have an AMD, like 270X, whatever that is. Okay, what else do we have that I can put on this? Come on. Get this big one, big one, big one. So I thought I saw some more big ones. Yeah, so we saw Terra. Oh, look at the size. <laughs> look at the size of that thing. I only need one of these. Come on, get in there. Get in there. There we go. And now once again, abuse this. There, okay. See that? Brilliant. Uh Okay. Yes. Uh <laughs> Next we're going to move this one this way a little. See this? Look, this is totally going to work. Okay. So we need some more tiers on this structure. <laughs> and of course I'm going to have to strut this thing to death. Or may you know what, maybe I could actually have the engines on either side of this and have it as a dragger. That might be the way to go. <laughs> the weight is actually kind of light because it's space probes. It's only 20 tons. 20 tons into orbit is nothing. Uh, oh, oh, oh. So, you know, we're actually doing pretty well in terms of that. Did we get Magellan already? We haven't put Galileo in. Uh, 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 yeah, let's, let's just... 
I I, th I think I want to just fly this and see how it flies, right? Let let's uh, just put on some fairings. Con a uh, conic fuselage fairing. Watch this. Nope. Are you gonna attach yourself? Hey, look, look, we totally have the most ugly looking rocket ever. The good news is we can just use like procedural fairings, right? So, or not proce procedural tanks, right? So I can go and find in the manufacturer's menu, I can find procedural parts and I can find the procedural real fuels tank. And then I can scale this up to insane sizes. Let's just zoom out a bit. So I can just right click on this and make it go bigger, 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 bigger. Oh, it's a six meter. And then we can make it really long. I don't even know if I have a six meter engine. The, the realism uses different fairings. Let's see what kind of engines I have, actually. What do I have? Oh, I have Saturn, the F1 series engines. So at least I can do... Saturn five sized engines. Okay, that's good. So we can we can totally get this up there The real question will be can it get up there without falling apart? Okay, so is there a six meter engine I can use? Mm, no, <laughs> how do I find which which engines fit my spacecraft that could be a slight problem here? That's one point. Oh, the eight, oh wait, five. This is a five meter engine. That'll do. Yeah, that's close enough. Okay. So let's move this even higher still. And then what is this? Uh, it says show UA, UI. So this uses hydrogen and oxygen. So let's fill it with liquid hydrogen and oxygen. And it tells us we have only 150 meters per second. That's not right. Show gooey, show gooey, show gooey. Why does this not show up correctly? Oh, come on, right click. Yeah, give me all the hydrogen you can. That's more like it. Wow, that's really lousy performance. Where's the engine? Where's the engine in the stage? And the st no wonder it's telling me terrible performance. The engine is like way the heck up there. We get all these probes and there we get six kilometers per second on this, right? Next, next I need, I need some uh, like little uh, boosters or something. I'm just going to strap some boosters to the side. Instead of going for like the, the lousy engines, I'm going to go for those for my eulage th engines. There we go. And then, below this, we're going to build out a suitably ginormous F1-powered giant, giant creation of monstrosity, monstrousness things. Okay, uh, procedural, procedural, procedural decoupler, procedural, 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 there we go. And we're going to make it six meters in diameter. So we can start. Okay, so hold on. When this decouples, is that it there? Oh yeah, that's it there. So that has to decouple here. Come down here. When that decouples, we want the SRBs to be the next thing in the staging. Oh, SRBs, and then immediately after that, we want this engine to fire. Okay, so that's our staging sequence confirmed. Uh, I don't make it to space in a lot of my streams because I'm not that interested in actually flying around in space a lot of the time. Besides, I took the thing to space in the um, in the shark stream last week. So I, th I would think that you would be quite happy with my shark stream. Okay, so that's 6.3 kilometers per second, 350 meters per second on that. And now we need another procedural tank. Pick it up, and then okay. So this has to start. Right, right. Where's an F1 engine? Yes, we have the F1 engines here. Here we go. Da da. 
Da, 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 da. Okay, there we go. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so it needs to be conical. The top needs to be six meters. Six meters, and the bottom needs to be ten. Ah, no, I'm just going into space. I'm, I'm taking these things into space so I can deploy them all at the same time. I'm, I'm, all the money spent on satellite launches, I think I can save some by just going, you know, straight into space. Okay, so this needs kerosene and liquid oxygen. There, now these engines need to be put in the staging diagram correctly. So these need to be here. Okay. So this will get me up to. So this thing will actually put the whole lot into orbit, right? Let, let's let's just kind of zoom back and see just how amazing this thing looks, right? This thing should work. Uh, and my first stage has an acceleration of two Gs. So you know what? I'm going to make this first stage even longer, right? Let's just make it because we don't want it accelerating too fast. That would be dangerous. And so that's 2G acceleration at launch. We should probably have some structural fairings and things like that just for, you know, good measure. Uh, uh. And I'll do it here actually. There. Okay, and that didn't work at all. There's no way this can go wrong. Are you kidding? Ugh. You know what's going wrong is is this is me zooming in as quick as I can. You know what's going to happen is I'm going to hit launch and then we'll just run out of memory. That's what's going to go wrong. Let's let's be clear on this. Okay, so we've got that. And now I need to bring the whole thing downwards. Oh, we, before I do that, I need launch clamps. Launch clamps. To hold this thing down. Because without the launch clamps, this thing will just want to fly away. Faster than anything I've ever built. Look at, look at these giant engines. Is that not a work of art? I'm a big fan. I am a big fan. I should play Stick Empires. Actually, what I want to play later is Interstellaria because it is a game which is coming out really at the end of this week, the 17th. Okay, before anything else, actually, can I just automatically add struts? That's what I want to know. I, I think this whole payload is going to flex, but maybe there's a way to add struts automatically. Oh, wow, the fairing is 12 tons. I I could change the color of it, I think. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there, but I can't access anything. Never mind, let's try launching this. Probe mania. Stability? You want stability? Ha! Ah. Uh. I don't have any control systems on this. We're going to entirely rely on the thrust vectoring of the engines. I'm just wondering if it will actually fly. It's not la launching ever everything. Windows 10? Come on! Who's interested in Windows 10? I have to say a certain other company created an OS 10 before Windows. You know, just saying. Okay, let's try this. Oh, wait a second. Come on! We're wasting fuel here! Oh, for crying out loud! Ah! Oh, it does not want to... Okay, never mind. Revert to launch. Uh, yes, you get Mac OS for free if you, it's totally free if you have a Mac and it only runs on Macs. So yes, it's totally free. Uh, 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 yeah. What the heck was that? Apparently I fired something before even launching. It has xenon gas in it. Okay, come on. Come on, I'm trying to select this. Have you got it this time? Yes! Finally! Holy! Why are you firing? Oh god! 
let's just see what happens here. Hold still! I, I, you know what I really like? We've lost one of them! We've lost one of our probes! What I really like is the nav ball is at 90 degrees. So I'm not sure what way I want this thing to recover, to go. But I want it... <laughs> the velocity vector is not any help here. I'm yawing as hard as I can. Okay, I need this thing to rotate. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. This thing... Oh, I know what's going on here. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, it doesn't help that I have no notion about what way to point this spacecraft. Uh... Okay, something happened there. Oh, we lost our engine! Oh well. Apparently this was not to be. Let's fire the fairing step at least. Man, what is it? It's like Americans made all their space probes out of explosives. I wonder if any of these have engines. Does that have an engine? No, that doesn't have an engine. That doesn't have an engine. No engine. That's just silly. Nope, no engine. I, I, I think I'm supposed to go right through all and right click on all of these things and add uh, add fuel to them all. Well! There's the entire of the US unmanned space program falling back to Kerbin. Which one do you think will land last? Anyone want to bet? We still have some up here. What's this one? Proman debris. Um, no, wait. I want to switch to that one. There's the sun. Ah. <sighs> You feel if you slowed Scott's voice down, it would sound like Shrek. Don't you understand? I'm an ogre! <laughs> I think any of these have parachutes. Um, nope, that doesn't have a parachute. Nothing. I think this thing might actually land... Uh, this one will be the most interesting. Oh, this has engines in it, apparently, still. So there's something in there that's still surviving. Oh yeah, more breakage. Oh yes, we lost that one. Oh look, something survived! Let- It's raining probes! Hallelujah, it's raining probes! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, does anyone want to calculate the, the costs? Oh, <laughs> uh, there's something. What one's this? Oh, anything landing on the base? Oh, look, there's one that survived. I think afterwards we need to. Uh, how do I cycle through the ship parts? Use the square braces. Just thinking about it. Oh, <laughs> uh, my family already knows what's going on. I'm no- wow, that was one of the least impressive sounding explosions. Look at all these probes that survived. NASA, you are- I, I really like the fact that Galileo survived. Yes, over 9,000 billion dollars here. Not quite. <laughs> okay. Is that the last one? Which one is that? I'm gonna should probably switch to them between until I find out. So what survived? The core, um, Galileo, 
something or aura maybe i don't know uh, oh that's an aura yep i totally called that fairings core why doesn't it give me want to give me the rest there's all these other ones sitting around but you're not going to show me them okay so obviously obviously there was some problems with the guidance there right um yeah uh, for property, I, I, yes, you do need you, um, BD Armory for that. Okay. So, what I should do is zoom in. Come on, zoom in here. It's so slow. Right, we need a probe sitting on top of this whole thing, right? Oh. Is that the one there? Can I maybe... Find out which one that is and make it the root part. That might be that'll that'll be what I'll do. I'll make it the root. Pilot was not drunk because Pilot has um has already he's fine. Don't worry. I I'm pretty sure the R was a spy probe with a name like that. You guarantee <laughs> that it was a spy probe. Okay, come on. Okay, so this is the one that I want to be my root part, right? So all I need to do is say root and go click, click. Okay, and then I can right click on this. Nope, apparently I can't right click on this and get the fuel. I thought when it was saying that these things were looking for fuel, I thought I'd be able to right click and do that. Okay, save that, launch this. Oh dear, no, this is far less interesting than Arkham Knight. Wow, oh yeah, simulate vessel. Simulate, we're just doing a vessel simulation here, right? <sighs> so did anyone watch my video with the astrophysicist, geophysicist, whatever, this morning? Dr. Kelsey Singer, not, uh, some people were calling her Khaleesi for some reason, but they were just strange. Okay, uh, I just thought it was really cool that we actually managed to get a real, legit, actual scientist. Ra rather than say, you know, project leaders and press people, someone that could actually understand this. Oh shoot, okay, I've got the same problem again. There we go, get in there. Now we're gonna go. Hey, we are now heading up into the sky, and in fact, we have control. So, <laughs> yeah, we're having a simulation within the simulation because we like simulations, obviously. Get this thing go. So I think what I'm gonna do is just very carefully turn this over. I'm really not going for a particularly good orbit here. Um, altitude, ascent guidance, uh, orbit info, that's what I need, surface info, okay. So I'm gonna keep these things roughly constrained here. I might actually have to watch my... I might have to watch, like, as my acceleration gets high, the deflection caused by this might exceed the limits of the structural limit, right? What? <laughs> no, I think her name was Kelsey, and so people... Uh, m many people commented, Oh, I saw K on one of your videos, and I immediately presumed it was the word Kerbal. To which somebody responded, it's like, no, it's clearly Khaleesi. Look at it go! This is, I, I think, oh, I think this is totally gonna attain orbit. The question is whether the whole thing will explode afterwards. Okay. And the other problem is that due to a bug, uh, I don't believe I have, I can't stage the, the fairings for some reason. Oh, maybe, maybe I missed that, but I can't see a way to stay to the fairings. Well, never mind. Come on. Altitude true. Apoapsis is fine. Wow. That is quite bright there. I hope you guys are wearing your, uh, you know, welding masks here. 
we're still looking good. I think I might actually throttle back because I don't want my G-forces to get too high given how fragile the payloads are. How is the sound here? Should I maybe cut this down a bit? I'm going to cut this down just to be sure. There, how about that? Uh, do, how, how come the flame is getting bigger? I don't know. I didn't... This is realism overhaul. Let's also be clear that this is going to require 7 kilometers per second to get into orbit. It's not going to be like the wimpy, old-fashioned Kerbal Space Program where you could get into orbit at, you know, 2 or 3 kilometers per second, right? So it's all realism overhaul and everything is going on here. I'm going to throttle back again because I want my... What? Oh, wait. Oh, apparently... Apparently I can't throttle this engine at all. Current throttle doesn't matter. Thrust is just huge regardless of what I set my throttle to. Oh well, so much for that plan. It's the F1. We just can't throttle this sucker. Can we turn off one of the engines? Uh, I can shut down one of the engines, but I can't shut down all of the engines. Okay, well, so much for that. And Apoaps is now up at 140 kilometers, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> and I, I can't shut this thing down because what'll happen is when uh, I, I need the speed. If I shut it down, I don't think I can restart it. So we're just going to let it run all the way and hopefully the rocket won't disintegrate. And then I realize I don't have a reaction control system here, so I'm going to have to let the whole thing spin. And hopefully that'll be possible. Because then I'll then need to fire it at exactly the right time to initiate the insertion into orbit, assuming that it's pointed the right direction. Okay. Yeah, the answer, the F1 gets lots of thrust. That's, that's all you need to know. Lots and lots and lots of thrust. More thrust than you can reasonably um, ever need in any other application. Okay. So let's try this. Bingo. Okay, so now we're floating into orbit. And I don't know if any if stability control is going to work for me at all. Uh-oh. The separation is not quite what I was hoping for. <sighs> okay. I haven't seen the new BattleBot series largely because I don't watch TV at all due to the fact that I don't have any spare time. I watch, like, I think I managed to watch the whole of Game of Thrones Season 5 and that was about it. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so now I'm not going to use... Um, I'm wondering whether I should use time acceleration. You know, I should see if I have any rotational control at all. It looks like I don't. So the next trick will be to fire this engine. And right now it says I have risky propellant, right? Because the because this fuel in this tank has all floating around like Klingon blood in space. And we need to make it all pool at the bottom of the tank using these rockets engines here. How am I going to spread the probes out? I don't care about that. We just want to get them all into space at once, right? Okay, how are we doing? We're at 160. We need to get up to 443. So I'm holding the yaw button and having absolutely no yaw response. So I think that what's going to have to happen is going to, I'm going to have to fire up the engines and then make them fire. I've been to Elu multiple times. I'm not going to go it again. Why Why would I go to Elu? Everybody does that. I played Rodina a while back and I don't know if I've got the latest version of it. That's... I don't know if I actually got my key to, to convert it to Steam. Like, the guy sent me a copy and, and I really quite enjoyed it, but I never had the time to play it all the way through. I do remember that re-entering the atmosphere took a really long time and he did make some changes for that so I was very grateful but I had never had a chance to go back. Okay, well I guess I'm just gonna have to time accelerate until we get to about here. Okay, so at this point what I'm gonna do is fire up my thrusters. Okay, 
And then this thing says stable, so now I can fire that. And now, because those engines are firing, I have attitude control. Attitude control. And we're getting, getting into orbit. Uh, Sky, we're not doing this tonight. You're supposed to be in bed. Hello, and bye. I just, yeah. I just finished watching TV. There we go. She just finished watching TV. Okay. Now, Why are you here, Sky? Because I know you're doing live stream. I can hear you. Yeah, I know, but that doesn't matter. No, no hats or no wigs today, right? Um, okay, so I'm just going to try and circularize this thing a little. Now, I'm wondering, are, do I have, oh, oh, wait a second, stay yourself on course. I didn't realize that thing was not staying on course. Stay on target. Stay on target. Okay. I don't have a sky. Uh oh. Orion, I think, um, is. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Peace on Earth. Okay, not. I don't see any way to make my my fairings jettison. That's a big problem. <sighs> now, how are we doing in terms of orbit here? Forty-four seconds. Yeah. Okay. Look, we're just trying to get into orbit here, right? And, oh, we lost those engines, so now we're only accelerating at 1G, and the good news is we have several, we have a ton of stuff. Orion doesn't like to sleep with a shirt on, because he just does. He gets right? hot at night. He gets hot, because he's a kid. I didn't bother to put these on decouplers, and for some reason I can't, I don't, I'm worried about the fairing base. If I decouple the fairing base, I suspect the whole it's thing will come off. I'm gonna get things into orbit before I try firing stuff. Well, I'm not sure if it's anywhere in my staging. I've m moused over. No, we're not doing that right now. I moused over every single thing and none of them look like fairings to me, right? Do any of those things... See, if I do that, what I'm worried is that it'll just detach all this stuff and then it'll be stuck without being in orbit, right? <laughs> there, they are. Sky knows what she's doing. There's a bunch of things that the kids could do one of these days, but she's. I can explode <laughs> things. Yeah. Ah, uh, look at that. Oh, oh, careful. You don't want to knock the cable out. Um, well, iridium flares are really only an interesting phenomena if you're on the surface of a planet, and since Kerbal Space Program doesn't really care, uh, <clears throat> I think I'm just going to blow this off into deep space. That's what we're going to do. We're going to head it off into deep space, and then we'll off try deploying them. Off to dad. Actually, I'm not sure I can get this into deep space now I think about it. At least we'll get it into orbit. Yeah, Sky, this is not really that helpful. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's smarter every day. Destin was just like, do you have it? Do you have like a Kerbal thing with the, the Falcon doing a staging? And I was like, yeah, I got that. So I dug it out and sent it to him so he could use it. Because it's really hard to get a good look at a spacecraft doing a staging. And Kerbal Space Program is actually pretty good at that kind of thing. Okay, I'm gonna fire. My, I'm gonna try and keep my vertical speed because it's fallen and I hadn't realized I'd passed through Apple Apps. Okay, this is gonna take a while. My orbital velocity is it's. Okay, if this gonna if this is gonna take long, let's talk about waffles. What do you want to talk about waffles? Who likes to eat waffles? Waffles are delicious. Uh, I what what kind of waffles do you like? Buttermilk. Buttermilk? With what kind of topping? 
with blueberries. Blueberry syrup and loads of whipped cream and strawberries too. Yeah, yeah. See, you're—I don't know. You're an American. That's your kind of thing. I guess you like pancakes as well. Yes. I I like bacon and eggs. Pancakes I, are bread. I like British style, you know, full breakfasts that have I like so much waffles meat. That have a buttload of whipped cream and strawberries and maple syrup. So just how much is a buttload? <laughs> a lot. I mean, I was talking. Size of your head. I was talking about a metric crap ton earlier, <laughs> and people were asking how it compared to the imperial crap ton, but now I'm concerned. Is there a similar uh, unit conversion required for metric versus imperial <laughs> buttloads? <laughs> my, my, I don't think I have anything on my LinkedIn page. What do I have on my LinkedIn page? Stop. <laughs> okay. Okay. Our oak okay, McThulu is like a genetics testing robot when he's putting syrup on his waffles. I see. Okay. I'm slowing my. I'm trying to make sure my descent continues to go. Waffles are delicious. Uh, I, 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 pancakes are cool. I, I like I, the circle waffles. You know, just one thing is, like, I'm obviously trying to multitask here. I'm obviously trying to fly a rocket and deal with Sky and talk to you guys and everything. He can't multitask. Yeah, Sky was just watching a TV show no. about how how attention works in the no, brain. I and I like the illusion. You like the illusion? Because I like illusion. Because you like the way the guy was stealing stuff from people, right? No. Yeah, one of my skills it. is not sucking. That's really, I think that you can do anything in this world regardless of your skill set, assuming that you master the essential skill of not sucking. Hmm. And I, I think that everyone should aspire it, in whatever walk of life they are, whatever their employment, whatever their uh, hobby, they should aspire to not suck. Uh, you know, not suck at their hobby, not suck at being a person, not suck at everything. It's, pr it's pretty basic as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Now we're up, we're almost, yeah, we're not going to be able to achieve escape velocity here, so I'm not sure what I'll do. If I, if I cut the engine after achieving orbit, then I will, oh, wait, wait, I will not, okay, actually I'm going up too high now. Yeah, you should totally put that skill on your LinkedIn page and then we can both, uh, basically credit each other as being experts at not sucking. You could we can produce recommendations. What is it? Endorsements. I endorse this person at the not sucking skill. But I will admit that I frequently make mistakes and <laughs> suck. And obviously when I'm cleaning the floors with a vacuum cleaner, I am a pro at sucking. Get out and push one of the probes. I don't think I have any what kerbals on these. Cat? Galaxy cats? We're not playing gal any of that stuff right well, now. I have galaxy cats. Really what are you talking about? Galaxy cats are amazing. Okay. So somebody says that a buttload oh, is a couple of liters because that's what the lower intestine can hold. And that really... Okay, I don't... Look at it, isn't it adorable? Why are you looking at cat photos with my phone? Because and we have achieved orbit. Nothing. Look. I'm just gonna leave the f engine running now. Yeah, okay. Galaxy cats. Galaxy cat. Galaxy cat. Oh yeah, I did a collage. I have not played Agario, I whatever did a collage that is. And then took a bunch of pictures of cats, pigs, and cats, and then I cut them out and then I stuck them on a background that was the galaxy. This one's so cute. What makes you think I'm behind mobile me? Oh, this okay. one's so good. I'm planning on making RSS into some kind of series. Okay, Sky, that's really Look at making it. it very hard to Look find. Look at it! Look at the burrito! I, I, yes, it's cat a cat on, it. on a burrito in space. It can't get much cuter. Oh my god, look at it! Okay. This is taking a really, really oh, long time. I need these. I need these. Microsoft aren't as terrible as they once were. I need these. <laughs> Certainly they have come on a long way from the late 90s where they were mortal enemies of the open source movement. 
Look at it! Look it's at another it galaxy cat. cat. I see it. Everything's so cute. Like okay. Oh, that's interesting. It still says I have Delta V, but it doesn't say from where. Okay, so I guess what I'm gonna do is just gonna try staging. I'm gonna try staging this first. Okay, yeah. So all it did was the probes got detached, and maybe they'll start penetrating through this upper stage. I need to add a picture to your Instagram because you. Made me in charge of your Instagram. Great. Um, so I guess I'm just going to have to start firing off the probes because nothing else is going to work. Galaxy cats are so awesome. Okay. Yeah, this thing is floating around free inside here, but due to a bug in procedural fairings, I did not get... The fairing is not going to detach itself. Isn't that great? See, no right click, nothing. Let's try staging things in sequence, right? Here. Or let's just stage everything at once. Are we ready? Let me get this. Stage. Oh, that was that was uh, something with solid rocket boosters. Did it explode? Um, possibly. You know what? Now I think Blow about it. it. Drop a bomb on it or something. I guess I staged everything in there at the same time. Let's try staging again. Yes, we put all the space probes into this giant box and now we're all gonna blow them all up at once. Look, it's kinda coming out. Look! We have one floating free, that's a good sign. Let's let's try this again. Oh are we ready? Nay! You're free! You're free! Fly, my children! Fly! Okay, we're doing pretty well here. Galaxy cat, galaxy cat, galaxy cat. They are so awesome. This, this actually, this would be a oh spacecraft if it wasn't for the fact. God, this is so awesome! So this has an engine, but unfortunately the engine, it's attached to this, so it's not going to work. Um, we could deploy the probe. Oh, this, let's, yes, look at that. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's just kind of stuck there. Nothing else to deploy. My god, it's full of probes. Okay, let's, what's this one? This one is extend panels. Excellent. Does this have any engines? Can I make this work? Do we have any reaction things? Oh, RCS. No, nope, we have no RCS here. Can I fire the engines? Oh, look, this thing has engines. This is oh, this is Dawn. Has ion engines. Let's just tell it to go forwards. Cool! Tell that one to go whatever direction it wants. And it will accelerate away slowly. Uh, 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 uh. Next! 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 What's this? Uh, you're kind of useless. You're Stardust Return Capsule. You! You're the Deep Impact Impactor! You! Are. I can extend your antenna. There we go. Look at that. And you, Stardust. Let's uh, tr uh, is there some deploy? No deploy. Do I have any fuel in this? Where's the emojis? I don't know. Oh, I found emojis. I got them. No RCS here. Oh, look, we have RCS in this. Who's addicted to emojis? Cause they're so awesome. Oh, look, that thing's still floating away. I like how there's sound in space. Obviously not. And this doesn't do anything. This doesn't do anything. This I need a photo doesn't do anything. No right click there. No right click there. Okay. No right click there. If nothing works, explode it. I I'm kind of concerned. Exploded oh, there we already. go. Exploded already. Oh shush. Oh. Okay. 
exploded already. Oh, this one's dead because it doesn't have enough electric charge, despite being in the sunlight. Hi, peoples. Again. <sighs> <sighs> and that's just a bit of stuff. Probe. Oh, deploy solar panels. Excellent. Look, we have solar panels that can come out. Nice. Um, deploy. Oh, this one has parachutes. Shame you're in space. There, look. Deploy parachutes. I need to duck this. No, you don't need to do anything. Oh, and this one is a spy satellite, so it has, like, spy on Ugly people. Paper. It has weird paper on it that you uh, 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 uh. Disable RCS. Oh, look, that has RCS. Hello. Great. Perform Hello. orbital survey. So much for that. Uh, there's no deployment there. Okay, I think <laughs> I think we have succe successfully succeeded in this mission for now. Oh, I wonder what this is. It's actually... Oh, this is Deep this Impact. This is actually, um... This is actually an octopus toy. Stuffed animal. And yeah. my mom got it for my brother for Christmas, but then he put it on my dad's hat head, and I saw it as a top hat, an okay. octopus top. Okay, at this point, let's wear octopus hat. I want to do something else. I think I think I've uh, we have. On Mars. Let's just take no no. Let's take a look at this magnificent constellation of satellites. And then explode it. Yeah. Look, think that is think about how much sciencing that stuff could do, right? That's too much pain. That could do like over nine thousand science. It could kill your brain because it's too much pain. Anyway, I want to play Interstellaria because I haven't. Wait, this is like Terraria mixed with Interstellar. It's kinda. Oh, that's such a cute chucklefish! Yay! There's no such thing as one. Okay, you it's can... Chipzel. Though. Yes! Unplug it! Unplug it! Unplug oh, you want to hear it? Chipzel's it's, like... It's super chill music. I don't care! Chipzel's amazing! Oh, yes, I know she's amazing. So if there's any awesome Chipzel music, will you dance to it? Uh, yes. Oh, wait, so if I play some Chipzel music, you'll dance for us all? Not now. Oh, I see. Try it to dance. I don't like dancing. Okay. Like in front of people. So this is a so Interstellar area is a Kickstarter I backed a long time ago, and I'm super happy that it's finally out. When humankind finally no, I just backed it. Dipped their toe in the ocean of stars, they found themselves thrust into war. The Kersha Empire. I'm gonna turn the sound up because the sound is cool. I don't know there. Con quickly conquering the fledgling sentience of the galaxy, humans had no chance against them. The Empire ruled through forced slavery and an iron will. The sentience fought back. The war lasted almost 25 years, but the galaxy was liberated from the Empire. From yes. Terminator? No, from the Kersha Empire. Yeah. Empire's reign was a golden age for the elite and wealthy, though the old Empire had fallen. A dagger of poverty and recession hit next. Okay, play something. This, so, it. Fetish Kedro Chucklefish are just the publishers. They are not the developers. This is hey! developed by Cold Rice. Chucklefish are not sending any resources towards making this, like, a game, right? This is entirely coded by... Ow! <laughs> Sky, that... That just went in my eye. Here, play. No, I'm... It's not tuned. A new invention from the human colonies is slowly pulling the galaxy from despair. Their interstellar device calculates the path which substances. <sighs> yeah. Sky? Hey! The destitute grandchildren of the Great War were now amassing fortunes overnight. Flash of light and you're exploring the stars. Entrepreneurs quickly rose to take advantage of this new technology, creating a golden age of space industry. Reach for the stars. A new passion is now lit within human hearts. Look at that. You're supposed to be you, a child getting inspired. I've been Wait, I've sent her to bed and she's gonna she's losing stuff. What? You didn't tell me I was fed. 
I told you to Mom go to bed. So like click on him. Mom says I can stay up all night and oh look, you. you can walk around. Shh. Explore the house. Daddy Let's get these coins up here. And go find the human yeah, roommate. Yeah, you find some money on the ground and you're like, hey, it's mine. Shh. I want to hear the music. Hey, hey, it's mine. Here's a roommate. Hey, I need you to move out. <laughs> what? I've been crunching the numbers and it turns out I can't afford to have a roommate that doesn't have a job. It's a cruel world out there, my friend. I'm sure you can handle it. <laughs> hey, where do I go? Go press that red button, unlock the door, spread your wings and fly. Soar above the hardships of life. Just don't end up like those poor spacers lost somewhere out there. Uh, actually, I'm going to walk away. Okay, well, so much for that. I wonder if I can click on that. I go down here. I click on my person again. And then I can go on that. I'm not sure what that is. Can I click on... Oh, wait. It's... Smell it. Smell it! Doesn't it smell like unbubble gum? Ah, uh, what is unbubble gum? This is supposed to be Let's take a look and see what's in the fridge. There's, there's, yeah. Steal all their food! I think he's just raiding. eating some, yeah, he's totally raiding the fridge before I leave. Okay, let's head out. We'll spread our wings. And never fly. Let's talk to this person. I'm in the lucrative business of making money. What can you tell me about this planet? Sakari is like all you can eat buffet with no sneeze guard. <laughs> To block your hands, we have massive goods and services going in and out of the planet from human space with little to no need for military presence. In other words, a paradise. It does smell a lot like chloroform, I have to say. Got any work? Maybe yeah. try your luck as a space janitor. You're nothing. Smell You're it. nothing! Oh, I could be a space janitor! Smell the candle! Okay, smell what's this? So this, there's a whole like flying spaceships around thing. It smells like Boston. Well, you know what? I can I can take a look in that. Yep, and then yeah. I could take talk to this guy. Eleven. Yeah, it's eleven fifteen. You're right. Anything I can help with? Would you mind dismantling that useless blue robot by the building? I'd lead you. I'll lend you a drone cop in case it takes a bit more elbow and grease, but I just can't stand all these robots. I'm on it! Great, I'm gonna un unassemble this dude. Oh, no, wait a Disassemble. second. Disassemble. So what's this? S Sky, that's not very helpful. Okay, I'm gonna go on Instagram and post stuff. What? Uh... Oh! Oh, that's a drone! Oh, I've got a drone here, look! wonder if I can make my drone fly upwards. Well, that's cool, I've got... You got some light. You got a light from that galaxy chat picture. Uh, you, you're not. <laughs> hey, I'm your manager of it. Defense mode engaged. Uh oh. Prepare for combat. Wait. Oh, darn. You like an egg. Like what am I supposed to do? Cats. Shoot, yeah. shoot lasers. Burrito cats. And did the game just crash? Oh my freaking god! This. Uh oh! No disassemble! No game! The game literally just crashed. Yeah! And this is what happens when you play games that are version 0.99. Uh, it, it's totally not responding. All we're hearing is Chipsel's cool music. Yeah! <sighs> really? Oh man! That's a shame. I haven't. It, <sighs> Do I teach? No, I, I'm bright software. Okay. Uh, I gotta close this. I gotta start this again. Yay! This is a problem. I'm not. Well, I like this. You do? You want, like watching me slave over a computer, right? Yeah, this is cool. Or fans or whatever. 
I see. Let's try this again. Press any key. I don't have any options but a new game. Good lord! Click, 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 click. I, oh, you know what, I, yeah, let's have a, let's have a quick run at the long dark, never mind this, yeah, long dark, it's right here, let's play long dark, for a little while, the long dark, I, I'm, I'm super hot, it's summer, yeah, the game is is coming out in two days, but it does seem to have some issues, doesn't it? Okay, so The Long Dark, as as we know, is a survival game and it's based after a thing. No... Yes, yeah, so we don't have the story yet. We have Sandbox and we have different levels. We have... Vo I'm gonna pick that. Voyager mode. And... Oh, we can pick... Girl, 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 girl power. So we have Pleasant Valley, Mystery Lake, Coastal Highway. Is there a station highway, named after highway, me in Elite highway, Dangerous? Highway, 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 highway. Sky, are you reading the text? Of the yeah, chat? I'm saying highway, highway, hey, There's highway. people asking you something in chat. Okay. A mysterious there. geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? The long dark is just... I love this. And I die all the time, but it's just just beautiful and relaxing. and or, or, uh, Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh my god, okay, so we've spawned at night. Great, what have I got with me? I managed to crash and it's yeah, night it's time. <sighs> Maybe I should bring my flare out and try navigating with that. Yeah, set the whole thing on fire. Okay, did I just throw it in the ground? Great. I just pushed the wrong button and managed to throw my flare on the ground or something. Okay, well, so much for that. I had a flare, now I've lost a flare. Oh my God, I cannot see anything. <laughs> oh, crap, and I just fell off a cliff. That's really not a good place to start. I'm wondering if I should just, like... I mentioned the pentaquarks this morning. Look, pentaquark... Right, basically, quarks have one-third... Uh, unit electric charge comes in units of one third, right? Which means you either need like a multiple of three, right, or a multiple of two. You can have exactly opposite anti quark and anti quark. This is not cool. You know what? I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna quit. No, I. I just. I just. It's. It's not cool that you can't see anything because it's night. Let's just start again and hope that we get daytime this time, right? Sky, what are you doing? How long can you survive? Give me a daytime deployment at least. No, it's nighttime again. Okay. Oh, actually, no, I can see something. No! Now, those birds. No! The those birds are probably near a, a dead body. So, if I can get to it, he probably has some, like, no! some loot or no! something. There, see that? That is almost certainly a dead body down there, but how do I get down to it? Die! Oh, look, we have some water here. Go to heaven. Wait, you went to the highway? Yeah, went to the highway. And highway, then... highway, 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 yay! Yeah, you... Ah, what, what have I got with me? I've got clothes, I've got some matches. What's this? Water purification tablet. So I get... I get some stuff, I get some firewood, which will be useful. I'm just trying to figure out how I can get down there without breaking my legs. That that's gonna be my first task. <laughs> oh, listen. <laughs> this is this is a Kickstartered um, beautiful I don't know. It it's I I just have something I really oh. like about this game. I guess I'm going to check out this area as well first. 
Did anybody see anything? There's no wolves or anything to be concerned about. Murder the wolves! Don't murder the wolves! Oh look, there's a little house there. Perhaps there's some plot, some supplies there. Yeah, or a serial look, killer. Do I know how to hack? I'm not going to talk about my uh, my career in that. Like hacking is first of all, there's hacking and there's you know computer security and those are. Um, <laughs> Not they're interleaved, but not necessarily the same skill. <sighs> I don't play Daisy because I don't have the time, unfortunately. Well, at least I get a bed so I can go to sleep and just die. What? You can? Tools? Cotton socks! Oh, great! So I can have Christmas. Get some firewood. That's good. And. A book which I can burn if necessary. Let's take a look in the drawers. No, why did I play? I hate me. Also like Drawer is empty. Obviously okay, who that. wants to play the waffle game? Who can stuff their oh, face soda. with waffles in a game? We're not gonna stuff our face with waffles I in the am. game. If I can find waffles, I will stuff my face in this. Oh, there's a plastic container. Oh, beef jerky. Nice. Oh, oh, great. I've got some clothes. That'll help me, perhaps, against the against the uh, Wait, you're cold. In the game? No, I just had clothes, but I don't have in much clothes. Okay, that's that. I think I might have to turn the... Hold on. I'm going to see if I can turn up the brightness a little. Brightness. Uh, um, subtitle screen mode. Oh, there's no way to adjust the brightness here. Quality. Yeah, there's nothing here. I can adjust that. Okay, well, I guess there's not that. Let's get back to this. Let's get dressed. Uh, if there's anything here that will help me. I get gloves on. Apparently, the socks that I'm wearing will make me warmer than the socks that I previously had. And uh, But the heavy wool sweater isn't as good as the one that I have. So I'm going to... I can harvest this for cloth, right? It's going to take 45 minutes. I'm posting stuff to Instagram too. Yeah, not right now. It has no power left and I need to do... I need to do stuff, Sky. And I've asked you to go to bed. Okay. And you're going to be can in I trouble. An no, you are... You need to go to bed now. I've asked you and you got to go. Alright? Everyone say bye to me. I, I, I own Arma Everyone 1 and 2. Everyone say bye, Sky. Everyone say bye, Sky. <laughs> That's what I have to do. That's what you have to do. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try sneaking to down this. At least this is a way. You have to sit, get at least... Do I recommend kids? Um, yes! Not necessarily this one. <laughs> She's too much work. If you get 15 buys. Dang it! Yeah, you get 15 buys. Time to go. Okay, Off to bed. Bye. Off to bed. Bye. Bye. Dad, next, next live stream you do, I'm going to see you, peoples. Okay. The next live stream I'm going to do when you're in bed. Smell it. Smell it. It's a candle. And after... I'm not gonna play that today. Oh, I'm a little chilly here. I can't really do that much. It's tuned. Great. Where's that dead body down here? Someone else's that managed to um that unfortunately succumbed to the elements. I, there was one. It was here somewhere. You know what? I'm just going to follow this road. No, I don't ever play Arma 1 and 2 because I don't tend to play Milsims because I just... It's not my thing. That is the voice of Femship. It is... It is our favorite. Okay. Yes. I'm... I'm not... Man, I am... Okay. Well, so much for that. But yeah, the um, 
if you want the Arma games, the Humble Bundle right now does have them uh, in for for ten bucks or five bucks or something. No, David Hader is Mark Mears is the male, but but David Hader I believe is acting is a has some role, but he hasn't appeared yet. Okay, I'm getting off this road because I am looking for. Is that the thing that I was looking for? There's something there. There's a deer, but I don't have any way to catch it. This is probably a deer carcass. Oh no, it's a frozen corpse. Ha! Huh. Well, maybe he has something. Yeah, David Hayter is definitely involved with this game, but we don't know... He, I don't think, I think he's only in the story mode. Oh, does that, that looks like a house there. Whew. <laughs> Listen, ten years ago, I didn't think I would be s sitting up at this time trying to make a girl go to sleep. What beautiful world we live in. Okay. I have no idea. I don't haven't played the coastal highway route particularly much. So yeah, when I last played this, they had just the pleasant or Mystery Valley and Mystery Lake was the place that they had. Since then, they've they've added the the highway and they've added Pleasant Valley and there's routes between them as well, right? So now, okay. Man, it's dark in here. I can't see anything. I think I do need a thing, uh, an ability to adjust gamma, so that I can let people see what's going on. Beef jerky, beef jerky. Is that can of peaches? And it's cold. I guess I could heat it up if I wanted. How? What's my status? Oh no! What's my status? Oh, it's tab. Is is status? I'm cold right now, this is a big problem. And there's no, like, fireplace or anything here. Oh, an accelerant, I could start a fire. Probably a bad idea to start a fire, but if I was tired I could rest, but I don't think that's a good idea right now. And I have no map. I've survived for 2 hours and 28 minutes. Can you adjust gamma? The thing is, it's pretty dark regardless of what OBS does. I'm gonna get just back outside because that's more interesting. This is all built in Unity as I understand. Okay, so I was coming from that direction. I'm gonna start heading this way. Oh, birds. Where are the birds going? Let's see if there's a dead body somewhere. Let's follow the birds. I don't know what my Instagram is. I think it's official Scott Manley or something because there there was already an unofficial Scott Manley which was unrelated to me. It looks like there might be a house down there as well. Awesome. Can I get down there without breaking my legs? That's the real question. Oh, there's a highway there. Okay, this could be dangerous. Uh-oh. Uh I've really put myself in a bad situation here. Uh, uh, uh oh, uh oh, okay, let's go back up here. <sighs> and I'm stuck! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna slide down this hillside and break my ankles, and then I'm gonna freeze to death because I can't walk the distance. Trying to scramble back up this slope by traversing, but. Oh! Excellent, okay. Whew. Well, that... There must be a way over there. Yeah, if you break your... If I break my leg... Is that the same building I was in previous... A minute ago? Is it... Is that the same building? I can't really tell. I guess I'll take a quick look. Oh no, I see footsteps. I was in there in a minute. I was in there a minute ago. Still. 
So this uses accelerated time, basically, because they want you to you basically starve to death quickly. But they also want the notion of being able to walk around long distances and everything. So I'm, I'm going to run down the hillside here. I might be able to get down this way. Please? Okay. Oh, look. Yes, this is a straight up slope. You see? Looking around navigating puts me in a good sp state. So this is the coastal highway. I, I suspect that this means this is the coast. Looks like uh, somebody has been, you know, um, somebody has been snow plowing here, which is a good sign. It's a fishing camp. <sighs> I missed something in there. I missed all sorts of things, but it's super dark. Okay, tomato soup, great. Grape soda. A newsprint roll. We can use that to start fires. I want a place where I can start a fire so I can get warm. That's really what I'm looking for. Don't see anything there. Don't see anything of consequence there. I should have put it on like super hard mode and just had the... The backstory is that you are a pilot in the Canadian like northern wilderness and there is a solar event which basically disables all electronics, all electrical devices and everything. So the world has basically been thrown back and you are trying to get home or something. I don't know. There's a whole, there is a story, but the sandbox alpha doesn't have the story. It just has the game mechanics for testing. And it has come on a long way since I originally saw it. I was, this was one of the few Kickstarters when I saw it, I instantly backed it. I was one of those early birds um, and, you know, I haven't regretted it. It's really you know, good piece of it's a good fun atmospheric survival game sure there are a lot of survival games out there now I'll take it grape soda beef jerky simple tools we can use that for repairing things anything in here nothing that's the door and nothing here oh wait what's that that's a granola bar I'm just checking. What's my situation? I am I am hungry and thirsty, so I'm gonna start eating stuff. I'm super cold. That's my problem. Um, I have a bed. What? Oh, bandages. No, that bandages. So yeah, let's uh, let's drink this. To give myself some calories. Let's eat the beef jerky as well. I don't have a can opener, so opening these and eating them is gonna be kind of difficult. Salty crackers will make me thirsty. Yeah, I don't want that. I think I'll drink a little more soda because soda has a lot of sugar. When is it? So Seahawk Slayer is asking when Interstellar Quest is going to be a thing, and I have not yet decided because I'm still like trying to make everything work together. Okay, so these boots unfortunately will make me colder. What I could do is I could try repairing this. This uh, long underwear is in poor shape, so I'm going to try repairing it and repair. And I need cloth and I need a sewing kit. Ugh. So I don't have a sewing kit. I have simple tools. That's not going to help me. Okay, well, let's take a look at the next building. Maybe one of these... I could try. I could try starting a fire indoors, but really, what I'm looking for is a building that actually has a chimney. If one of these has a chimney, then I can start a fire inside it. But none of them do. Well, let's take a look here. I could hear the birds over there. That means there's probably someone out in the ice that's frozen to death. Plastic container. They, I mean, they, they've got a lot of cool ideas in this. Antiseptic, bad. They don't want to have, like, zombies and stuff, although they do have wolves, and they have a bear, and the bear scares is, like, badass. It will totally, you know, ruin your day if you encounter the bear and make it mad at you. Okay, no. I'm not wanting to sleep in the bed, right? Because the bed is not going to help me... Basically, I want to sleep at night, right? Where is the sun? The sun may be setting now. 
There's definitely these little things out there. They have little stoves. I could use those. Okay. Condensed milk. Nice. Uh oh, sound like the wind's getting up. Do I make different random Twitch accounts? No, I don't. Anyone else claiming to be me is not me. Probably useful. And what? Why? Why did I not? Why did I back this game? Because it was sounds. It was great. It it was talking about a survival game after a solar flare. I mean, that was so me. Plus, it looks looks great. I love the look of this game. The atmosphere and it makes me feel cold and. I have to say, it's... It's been... I'm too darn hot. Okay, I'm gonna run to this building here, because that looks like it has a little uh, chimney on it. This is a, like an ice hut. I, that may not be the best... <laughs> oh, dear. This may not be the best idea here, but look, I could start a fire. I could maybe try fishing here. There's often items hidden beneath the beds. I know I, I've not been really looking Must around. Be prepared for anything. I get gloves. That'll help. Plastic container. Yeah. How about wolves? Wolves hidden under the beds. Uh, wait a second. I put these gloves on. Okay. Not good. Not good. Okay, let's start a fire here because I am in serious trouble. Fuel. I could start by burning the cedar fire firewood and let's add some accelerant. Start fire! This should help. Yes, it is Fem Shep's voice act, act, uh, actress. Actressing. Now I'm freezing apparently. Get me warm! Um. Uh, let's let's just uh, can it warm me up at all? What I can do is I can also I can melt snow and make myself some water, right? <laughs> I'm really starting to hurt from the cold here, and then I can boil the water to uh, purify it. About four hours of daylight left. Uh oh. Okay, I'm back. What's my situation? Oh, look, I'm, I'm, I'm warming up here. You see, my cold is going down. That's good sign. Ah. Ice fishing hole. I need a tool to break the ice. Oh, well. Either that or some fun jokes and you know, fancy chat-up lines. Ah. Let's take a look. Oh look, I'm gonna wear these because they're better off. They're they're better than the things I'm already wearing. And these socks. Oh, these socks are better than what I've got. Let's wear these. Excellent. So that's at least helped me a little against the wind chill. Colder. Oh, and this will make me warmer. So now I should be a little better suited to the environment. So my cold is dropping because I get some better clothes now. Man, that feels warm. Should I do... Should I heat something up? I, there's no point heating these up because I don't have a, a thing. I guess I'll, I'll melt some more snow while I'm at it, right? It's where, yeah, it's all about surviving on Pluto. And then we're gonna boil it. Boil! And we'll only get part of a thing left, I think. But! Or maybe not. Oh, well, no, we're gonna get a full one. Okay, back. How long does it say? Four minutes left. Four minutes of warmth. So now my cold has been dealt with. Yes, yes, ab. That's, that's me. Why am I crouching? How do I stand up again? There we go. I was oh I was stuck underneath that shelf. Well, 
there's somebody over there. Oh, man, look at this wind. I'm going to take a run over this way. Because running will presumably will burn my calories faster, but it might help me. Oh, there we go. Poor guy. Now, how do I get onto that? This is clearly a harbor here or something. Getting out in the ice is going to be super cold for me. Looks like he's got a knife, though. That might help. Help a little. Matches, and that's it. Well, I guess. I guess I'm going to run for this next one. This will wear me out a lot faster, but. Oh, what's that? That's like a whole thing over there. I know, just looking at this makes me feel cold. And to be honest, it's what I kind of need because I'm super darn hot. Oh man, look at these houses. Those cabins are fine, but they don't have any... Uh, they basically don't have any furnaces or anything, so I can't really keep warm. I'm going to try and head over there after I look in here because I want to find another house that I can actually spend the night in. Okay, we get some cloth. Good. Oh, we get some firewood. That's going to help. And we got reclaimed wood. Excellent. Cupboard. Drawers. Matches. Yes, why, why are you repeating my birthday? Ab Abstroxos, whatever. Are you so stalking me or something? Is that your plan? Oh, sardines! Great! Because sardines are super important to a sustaining meal or something. <sighs> well, have you seen um, Space Food Truck? That's uh, apparently had a lot of interest recently. I think that's a house there. Maybe that'll work for me. What's my situation? I'm, I'm getting pretty tired, but um, I've survived for three hours of daylight left. Okay, so I get enough time to walk across here. There's one other cabin, but I suspect that if I go there, I'm not going to have any chance. I think there these this might be a little cluster of houses there. Your sister's birthday is also 31st of December. Well, that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, um, Space Food Truck, I think, is currently green light and stuff like that. You can fall through the... Uh, I'm not sure if you can fall through the, the ice yet, but... Yeah, that would be an interesting one, a space hunter, where you hunt space life forms and bring them back to your space house on Space Earth in the space, around space. My Twitch, l listen, Epic YOLO Swag, I updated my Twitch page, but it's just terrible because it chooses not to update. It's a bug in Twitch. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure if you go out far enough, you will fall through the ice. Okay. The log sort. Again, no chimney on this building. Oh, and it's boarded up. Darn! That's a problem. Ah, there's a little building here, maybe. At least I can use that, but that doesn't look like it has a furnace, although it does look like it has some heating. Well, let's make the most use of the light that we have. There's... More, there's another dead body over there, I suspect, based on those birds' interest in it. Hmm. Okay, no, not that way. There's no jumping, by the way. There's the road again! Oh, look, there's the highway, the coastal highway. We can follow the highway, perhaps, towards some sort of place where people have cars. Let's take a look in this ruined building. Never mind. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting warmer at least. That's probably a good sign. Yep. I think this is the place to spend the night. How long have we got? Two hours worth of daylight. I guess that's the sun sh 
setting in the and over there. Does anyone see anything else that I should check out before going and setting up for the night? This is the the logs. They obviously come down river and they get sorted here. That looks like another cabin over there. That one, actually, that might be close enough. Let's just walk over this way. If I if it takes too long, then I'll head back immediately. I have not seen any wolves. Oh, but you know the reason is I think the difficulty setting I chose makes the wolves only appear on day two. Oh, look, it's a. It's a ravaged deer carcass. Can I harvest meat? I need tool. I need a tool and I need tool. I don't... But select tool. I have no tools. I have no tools for this. Oh well, so much for that. But that guy was clearly holding a knife. Did I forget to pick it up? Those, those logs, they've clearly carefully arranged them. Obviously, the person that was working here was very OCD. No, uh, the Skype will reverse the Skype will reverse the camera because it does that to make you feel more natural. Yeah, I thought I I I, I realized that now. I saw the knife, but I thought it would have picked it up, and I clearly made a mistake. Okay, well we're warmer in here. We may not have a fire. Oh, we get a lantern though. Lantern will be very useful for dark places. Metal container. And I don't see any stuff here. It's super dark. Super dark over there. And I check that. Night is about to be upon us. So yeah, I can bring out the, the tools. What do we have in terms of tools? We have this lantern which has in, is in not good shape. Can I try repairing? I need scrap metal to repair it. Do I, I refuel it? I don't have any anything to refuel it with. Now, is there anything I can harvest to make scrap metal? Hmm. What is this water purification tablets? Not that useful. Okay. Well. Yeah, let's try burning the, the lantern just for a minute, just to take a look around this place. Okay. Do not go gentle into that good night. If you can keep your head while all around are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can... whatever. Favorite piece of poetry ever written. Okay, got a soda can. Oh, there's a, there's a plastic container, and there's the thing, kerosene! I'm gonna take that, and then I don't need this anymore. <sighs> okay, and I guess unequip. Or there's no need to unequip. Hmm, I wonder what I can build with that. Bed roll. I can get bed bugs from the bed if I like. What's my food situation? I'm cold. Hungry and thirsty, so I guess I'm going to make sure I drink my water. And that should help me a little. Oh, that, that's probably maxed out my thing. And then I shall eat my granola bar and eat this one because it's in bad shape. Okay. Done. Back. And then time... I think it's time to turn in for the night. It says one hours of daylight left, but there's really not much else I can do. I could sit and take another look outside and watch the sunset. No, I, I need I need a knife if I'm going to harvest the deer meat. So you can eventually build, um, you can build like bow and arrow and things like that, obviously, or you can find guns sitting around. It's nice. The snow is falling. But it is silent. There's no strong wind. Okay. We're going to sleep for eight hours. Let's do that. Nine hours. I think it's a nice little game for sure. And I can't wait for the actual story to come out. That's what I'm really waiting on.
We've got some cool... Oh, I've survived for 16 hours. And I think I need to sleep a little more. Actually, wait a second, back. It says one hour of darkness left. So one hour... Rest one more hour. <sighs> uh oh, and the weather is getting up. It says 15 hours of daylight, but that doesn't look very much daylight to me. Oh, no. Oh, come on, light! I'm not sure what the multiplayer status of this is. I'm very thirsty, that's the only thing. Let's put this on the... Put that down there for now. Drink water. That'll help me. Yeah, the, the, the cool thing is that there is going to be this story mode which uh, kind of explains what's going on and you'll meet characters and they'll be fully voiced and everything. Where's the door? door? I think we can set out. <laughs> the outdoors. Well, there we go. We're going to head off up the highway. I'm not sure what else I'm going to do. Well, I mean, having a multiplayer when you're surviving on your own is kind of counter to the atmosphere. Wow, look at that beautiful sunrise, huh? One advantage of being stuck up here. I apparently drank 620 mils of water very quickly. Oh, you you, you built a wonderful bear skin <laughs> bedroll. That's pretty funny. How do I put this lantern away? Is there a way to equip something else? These are my tools. Tools. Uh, nah. I forget how you, you stop equipping things. There's the sun, though. That is rather, rather a beautiful sight to behold, I have to say. I'm not sure if I should be going north or south here, to be honest. I don't know if I'm on the east coast or the west coast, but I think going south would be a better idea than going north. Although, actually, the river, I suspect, flows that way because that seems to be the way that they were catching those logs, right? Maybe I shouldn't be going inland. Yes, well that sun has just generated a solar flare that has broken all the electronics on this planet. And actually, I have realized that it is now 5 minutes to 12 and it is close to my bedtime. Uh, for very complicated reasons, being like part of a family and everything. I do need to end this and so I figured this is probably a good time to end this. Oh, look at that. Fallen down here and damaged those lines or something. Not sure. Uh oh. Can I get through here? Yeah, I guess I can. Seems that the road. Oh, there's been a, a landslide and the road has been blocked a little. But I think I can still get through here. Oh, look, there's a car. So, yeah, you can even spend the night in a car if you can't find anything else. Let me just see this. I can take a look under the hood, see if there's anything under there. Nope. I can take open the doors. Oh, the trunk's locked. Let's open the door. Let's check the glove compartment. Nothing. Radio's broken. Oh, I got it. Somebody left a candy bar here. That was rather silly off them. Well, let's get in the back seat and see if there's something in there. It's interesting that they left everything else unlocked, but they didn't unlock the back of the car. And there's no button inside to open the trunk, huh? Oh well, so much for that. <laughs> Think I should walk out onto the ice? There's a there's a cabin right there. Let's let's go out. I'm gonna run straight to the cabin just to to get there. I don't know how far out in the ice you can go before things start to really go south, let's say. 
It's the, look, the sun's getting higher in the sky, isn't that cool? Oh, look, we actually have shadows. The sun has risen high enough. This is getting... This is casting shadows. Oh, no, drawer. Okay, a newspaper. Great. A reminder of what the world once was. Now just destined to be burned. At least I got a bunch of wood here that I can use to start fires, although I suspect I'm carrying around so much wood now that I'm going to have trouble. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to finish this. Uh, and there's no way... How do you, I don't know, I'm going to quit out of this. Cancel. Apparently there's no way to uh, save. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. Seriously, guys. Seriously. I, I really wished I could have shown you Interstellaria, but it crashed at a terribly inopportune moment. Uh, why don't I turn off my lights when I game? Because I need a light so that you can see my face. Right? That's really what happens. Anyway... Goodbye, everyone. Good night. See you all some other time. Hope we're all interested in what's coming tomorrow. Uh, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.